Heather's doing an inspection of the exterior elevations, the right, front, rear, and left. Remember to check for dogs before you go in someone's backyard. Found some damage? Yeah, we're gonna pay for that. The side, it looks like it could have been chipped. newer siding and usually holds up pretty good. But <coughs> Taking a picture to demonstrate how many layers of roofing there are. And here she's laying her clipboard down and using a pitch gauge to determine the pitch or the slope of the roof, how steep it is. She's going to take a photograph of that. It's going to be included in the file. A steeper roof costs more to re-roof. Gonna go get your cougar paws on? Yes. Okay. These are my cougar paws. They have foam bottom and they're velcro. Mm -hmm. So you can change out the padding. Nice and sticky on the they roof. Wear out. You don't have to change out the whole shoe. Um, you do have to order on their website. You need to look at the sizing. Don't just go by what size you normally wear. Mm -hmm. When it's pretty bad like this, I don't even, I don't feel like it's necessary to really draw a test square. Um, it's really going to depend on what, um, what, what, what your carrier allows. But so you're saying when you see a ton of damage? When I see a bunch, mm -hmm. I'll still go ahead and circle it. Mm -hmm. But um, don't even if, bother it's, if it's really obvious, square. yeah. I don't do a test square. So, just kind of all over here. Yeah.
backside equals 10 plus. Now she's going to photo document the damage. Notice how comfortable she is walking around on the steep roof with the cougar paws. These shoes I'm wearing, even though they're nice rubber sole shoes, are having a hard time sticking to the granules. It's an older roof. So I'm sticking to the ridge. This is a different style of ridge vent. Ultra style. Rods up here. Real quick. Dutch. It's coming down. It's coming up the gable. This comes up like that. So we so got rained out, so you're catching the last little bit of your notes. my notes because they got kind of rained on but we got everything we needed I had to go back out for the measurements of the shed because I realized I forgot them which is why you look at your notes before you leave mm -hmm. okay. so, let me this roof it's in my paper everything. We have our up and our over, our lengths, our up and over, and our lengths. And so we're good on that. So. And yes, the extra bitch. And it was a 712. It was actually 7.5. Can you go over what these are again for our viewers? Poor condition. This is the type of roof. It was a three tab. The age of the roof looked to me between 12 to 15 years. There's one layer, the condition was poor, pitch was, I put 7.5 over 12, and it did have drip edge. And then over here is where I write, and everyone does it differently, but I just do it like this. R&R &R, 3 tab, um, drip, the other thing I didn't mark on here, it had one pipe jack led over on that side, and there was two on this side. So we have three pipe jack of lead, and we're going to have steep charges, and we're going to have a ridge vent. And that should be the roof. And now we're done. Awesome. And a summary of uh, what's going to happen here, do you think? Um, they had quite a bit of hail damage, so I am going to estimate to replace the roof. They had a couple of window screens damaged. Estimate for the replacement of those. Replace a piece of siding that was damaged. Replace a spotlight bulb. And their back shed roof was the same shingle, so replace the back shed roof as well. Um, and then I'll call the insured, let her know what um, I found and what I'm going to be estimating. And then I'll put together the estimate and uh, it'll go off to the carrier.